I still don't understand why Connie won't let me dog sit for her. Every time you're around Buford, he's either hit by a car or a monkey. Neither are happening this time. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? Distrust? Oh, loud and freaking clear, yo. Never mind. So what are you planning on doing while I'm gone? You haven't stalked Anna in a while. Ah, my women's basketball goddess. Yeah, the heat should be off by now, you would think. Off your lifetime ban? Oh yeah, I'm sure the League has forgotten all about that. Yeah, you're right. And it's a bit difficult to blend into a crowd of dozens. Come in! Hey, Mr. Mister, I wasn't expecting to see you today. Indeed. I thought you would be off on your reunion getaway with the fair Constance by now. Almost. Just waiting for her to get back from the kennel. You're not dog-sitting, Chad? They don't trust me. Don't. Don't do that. What's this? Your final check from the Women's Hoops Organization Settlement. That only took a year. That's it, then. It's all over with Deanna. I don't have any chance to win her back. No, her love and trust for you is as barren as the current Mrs. Mister's womb. Jesus. There are plenty of women out there in the world, Chad. I'm sure you'll find female companionship again. But they're not all 6'4". You just have to get back out there. You know, outside of the apartment. Away. Oh yeah? Easy for you to say when your chick came back. I got no chick, I can't log on to Halo anymore, and I'm not allowed to babysit a dog. Calm down. Look, there are plenty of websites and apps you can use to meet women. I've made it known how I feel about those. It's like playing kickball against a bunch of preschoolers. Yeah, I'm gonna score at will, but it's just gonna end up in a bunch of hurt feelings. Because chicks and dating sites... Shh. There. Shh. Let the ignorance linger for a moment. Feel it wash over you. Oh, only if we had the internet in the 70s. If men wanted to go on a date with a woman we desired, we either commanded it or had to rely on fate. Fate is for fools, my sons. It's just a sign of the time, sir. Everyone's so busy and pretty much plugged into the net regardless. It just makes sense now to meet people online. Yeah, and everyone posts either outdated photos of themselves or big-time Photoshop pics on their profiles. Then when you meet them, they look completely different. It's all a scam. There's that whole getting to know you part, Chad. You know, building trust, maybe becoming Facebook friends, checking out more photos, that sort of thing. Ah, stalking, yes. We were just talking about that. Stalking? You can do that online now as well? Oh boy, can you ever. I deal with it all the time. Yeah, pissing off people who want to come after you will do that. Chad, you strike me as a very forward-thinking fellow. It surprises me to hear your skepticism of leveraging technology to enhance your love life. Those who don't exactly employ the truth on a regular basis usually have the biggest trust issues, Mr. Mister. Come in! And speaking of trust issues... Hey guys, how are you? I haven't had physical contact with a woman in three months. Other than that, I'm great. Oh, sorry to hear that, Chad. Not terribly surprised, but sorry, nonetheless. Got Buford all set at the kennel. I cannot tell you how much good it does my failing heart to see you two back together. Wait, failing? Hey, Connie, why don't I get to watch Buford? Because you're an untrustworthy mess, and I don't really like you being alone around my dog, Chad. Oh, yeah? Yes. What, nothing in rebuttal? No, that's a fairly understandable position when you put it that way, actually. Crap, did I unplug the iron? And where are you two reunited beacons of non-marital bliss going for your romantic getaway? My parents have a cottage up north. Nice secluded spot. Away from... well, away from Chad. I'm starting to notice a little hostility here. Chad, I just... really don't like you. Neither does my mother. What about Mom? Nothing. I was just reminded how similar Connie is to Mom in oh so many ways. Don't, don't ever say that. You never noticed it? Chad, you're about to notice a broken- All right, that's enough. Try not to run past the car on your way out, runaway bride. Chad, so help me God. Enough! It's all in the past. Connie and I are focused on rebuilding our future, okay? Indeed. Once upon a time, I myself had relationship and trust issues with my beloved. But I, too, worked to ensure it all ended for the best. What did you do? I had ex-Mrs. Mr. committed, and then I met the current Mrs. Mr. at an exotic pottery class. Thus, it all ended for the best. Exotic pottery, eh? When I left, I thought I could forget about everything. But then I realized I could never forget those smoky brown eyes. Those pouty red lips. Those biceps you deceptively hide under your shirts. And those... Brad, time to go. Yeah. See you guys on Monday. Or Tuesday. Wednesday!
exotic pottery, eh?